And now I found something that I, yeah, that that's definitely most definitely on my list. So I can, uh, I can uh, just, uh, you know, wipe that off the board. And I haven't even cleaned it yet, but I saw the contours. Ooh, yes. Ooh, Ooh moment. Oh, 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 my God, man. Yes, we are back, back in Berlin. I'm here with Chris from Metal Detecting World War II Battle Soils. <laughs> Battlegrounds. And he just ruined my first shot, so I have to do this again. Anyway, we arrived at the spot where we wanted to be, and um, I'm just gonna show you a quick view of where we are. Man, I love to be here. I love to be here. It's uh, really. It's my favorite place to be. And as you know, I've been coming here for many years, but uh, every time I'm, I'm amazed by the beauty of these woods. Not by the background noise right now, but by the beauty of these woods. So gorgeous. Anyway, we're gonna set up and see what we can find. And on this beautiful spot, I brought the, uh, the Ace Apex. It's a brand new machine. And I um, have been enjoying it on the beach which I don't make videos of because, you know, I think they are boring, but hey, who, who am I? Um, yeah, it's a beautiful machine for a, for a fair price, I think. But it's been very good to me on the beach. I found a ring and some, some coins and uh, it's very easy to use. So uh, kind of curious what it does here. So let's see. A musket ball. Nice signal on the Garrett, like uh, in the 50s. So yeah, that's nice for a first find with the uh, Ace Apex. So what seemed to be one casing right there, turned into a lot of casings here everywhere, including here. I'm just gonna stop digging those 65, but because that's what the uh, Garrett Apex is uh, is telling me. 65, I'm gonna stop digging those for now in this little area here. Um, yeah, as you can see, I found a lot of them. A lot of empty German casings. So I think uh, a machine gun uh, went off here or something, I don't know. But anyway, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's nice. I love the casings, a lot of fine casings, but it's gonna be a lot of work if I dig them all up. I don't know, I'll see. I'll just dig up one or two and uh, continue. The bad thing about metal detecting on battlefields is uh, bombs. Chris just found a bomb, which is right here. And uh, it's gonna be dealt with, I reported it. And uh, that's a good thing because I'm gonna show you why. My friend's house is right there. He gave us permission to detect here. And um, so yeah, he's probably gonna be uh, well happy that uh, it's gonna be dealt with. I just reported it, so uh, probably gonna be uh, picked up maybe this afternoon or tomorrow. I'm sitting here very silly uh, underneath this very low tree, but it keeps me out of the sun. Anyway, um, we're just detecting near this road and there's a lot of junk here and uh, uh, we almost decided to give up and then we started to find some uh, some big bottoms of casings right on the surface so there is uh, you know there are signs that uh, that has been fighting here um, so we came to this trashy area and uh, I was just throwing things up and uh, well not throwing up but throwing things out of the ground and some rubbish came out and uh, 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 a zinc coin came out and now just this came out an officer's 
I think it's a shoulder pip patch. And I found these before in the past. Let me just push it down a bit so the camera picks it up better. Yeah, and I'm very happy with this because it wasn't the best of signals. It was like a, a low iron sig signal along with a higher signal. So it went like burp, beep, burp, beep. And I thought, screw it, I'm gonna dig this because the coin was there right beside it. But yeah, this is good. This is very good. So, uh, I'm gonna dig here some more, see what happens. And another one, this time a bit bigger one. I'll show you later the two uh, next to each other, but this is, uh, this is somewhat bigger. Nice. So I'm hoping for more now. And Chris is just right there. And uh, he's been finding gas mask there. So uh, we're at a good spot. Might as well show you right away. See the difference in size. So yeah, and they both still have the pin in the back. So that's good. And a third one. Ha, ah, this is turning out to be a good place. So let's see what, uh, what Mike's been finding for the last one and a half hour or so, uh, like an hour. Uh, with the Ace Apex, by the way, which is a good machine, otherwise it, I wouldn't have been finding these. That is nice. And they all have the, the stim in the, in the back, at the back. And uh, also I found a couple of zinc. German World War II coins. So yeah, that's not bad. And I just saw this laying on the on the ground here, and uh, it's not a bottle top or anything. It's a a protection cover for the barrel of a German Carabina 98 rifle. So that's actually pretty cool. The detector doesn't pick these up because although it looks like metal, it's not. It's like sort of a plastic rubberish uh, little cover. Just show you. That's nice. This is gonna be an exciting afternoon because I just got a call from a friend of mine who works at the German version of the bomb squad. And he said, hey Mike, can you help me out? I need some extra pair of hands to uh, you know, to, to, to clear out a nice piece of land and uh, it's too much work for one person, can you help me out? And I said, yes, please. <laughs> so I'm going there now and I'm taking you with me. I'll see you there. We're now at a friend's house having uh, lunch and um, before we go out with the um, bomb squad, we decided to have some lunch here. I'm gonna show you in a minute what we are eating, but uh, let me just show you what uh, my drink is for this afternoon. This, this, and this, this determines who is gonna do the hard work and find the best things this afternoon because Chris is drinking this. Cheers. Yeah. A proper German doner kebab. So we arrived at the place we have to be. Uh, where we are going to help uh, my friend out to um, to clean up this area from as much as munition ammunition possible um, and explosives. Um, he already took out a lot of uh, material right here, so this has been clean already from there to there. And I don't know if you can see it, but he. Stuck some poles in the ground, and I'm not sure if the camera picks that up. But are these red poles in the ground to um, to determine where we have to dig? There's one right uh, there. Um, so we have to clean up that area from that side. So we have to do it thoroughly, and I'll show you what we're doing whilst we're detecting. Let's hope we can find something. My friend here brought some uh, some equipment, uh, the, the the deep seeker and the best shovel there is the Fiskars. 
and uh, Amber just brought a, a regular detector. Okay, so the reason why we're here is because um, my friend and his company were uh, asked by the landowner to sweep this area. What happened was, and I'll show you right there, where Chris and my friend are, there um, some diggers dug up a lot of ammunition. And some of the ammunition, especially the, the tracer rounds, um, have phosphor in it. The bullet tips has phosphor in it. And when exposed to the sun from the heat, they can ignite even after all those years. And that happened. You know, diggers came here, they dug it up, they left it on the soil. Their finds uh, didn't rebury it. It caught fire, which you can see right here by the burn remains right here. Look, these trees caught fire. And um, yeah, that's a dangerous situation. And uh, the landowner was, uh, you know, it scared him and he uh, just wanted uh, his forest cleared out. So we're gonna help with that, that's a nice thing. So just on a side note, if you ever do come across ammunition or bombs, report it. If you can't or you don't want to, that's okay, you know, yeah, it's not okay, but the, the, the second best thing to do besides reporting it is to just rebury it very deep so uh, so this uh, things like this don't happen well I have been detecting along this path as uh, I was requested to do so so I'm making like these lines along this path and uh, I just went through the outer line and went back now and just um, found a lot of rubbish there alongside the, the road but yeah this is not World War II related but it's the first decent find I can show you. The rest are just bottle tops. So yeah on the bright side there's not ammunition alongside the road so that's nice. But yeah I need some World War II related things to show you. But you, instead of that you have to do it with a key right now. Well trust me it's gonna be better. Although it's not as tough and mean and like cavemen like growls or oh, I just found some ammo and some bombs. It has some lovely hearts on there. But I'd rather find a bomb right now. Because that's my job at the moment. Little bottle. This is called a schnapps bottle. And uh... Yeah, Germans love their schnapps. It's like a little alcoholic drink. They uh, drink along with their beer. It's a nice bottle. And I have to bring this, the, 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 everything I find anyway, so uh, I'll bring this. By the way, yeah, it's a little bit different than you are used. For me, I guess. Usually I show you the, the good finds, but I uh, just wanted to show you how it's like uh, hanging around with these uh, with these guys that clean up forests like these. And uh, yeah, usually I don't like finding it, but I really hope I find some ammunition for them, you know, to help them out. Um, we'll see, we'll carry on. We have still have a couple of flowers, so uh, we'll carry on. Snaps bottles, I don't care. Because I found something good. <laughs> yes. Oh man, man, this 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 trip has been very good to me. Um, I found the SS Erkenus marker. Um, that was on top of my list, my bu bucket list. And now I found something that I, yeah, that that's definitely most definitely on my list. So I can, I can uh, just uh, you know wipe that off the board. And I haven't even cleaned it yet, but I saw the contours. Let me just show you. If you're a World War II enthusiast, you know what this is. Okay, on three, okay? One, two, three. Ooh, yes! <laughs> 
Oh man, I could ooh all day now. Jesus Christ. Um, I'll try to clean it up with you together, okay? Give me a sec to, uh, to, to, uh, to do that. Oh, let me just get my brush out, shoot that. I'm not gonna parse you. Hope I got a brush in this bag. Because this is not my bag. And I did put some things in there. Oh man. Yeah, I do got a brush here. How am I gonna do this? Let me just put you like that. Okay, you're now on the side of the of the hole. Let's clean this up together. Okay, baby, focus for me. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. For those of you who don't know what this is, the few of you, this is a Totenkopf badge. And these guys, there are two versions. The Panzer version and the SS Totenkopf version. And to be honest, I don't know which one this is. I'm gonna ask to my, uh, to my colleague, right? Ask my colleague right now. He knows, he knows everything. Oh man, what a day. Let me just explain this to you because we're out here detecting for bombs but um, uh, they told us we can keep the finds uh, we find except of course for ammunition and bombs so that's mine yeah <laughs> I'm so freaking happy right now oh man this was high on my list trust me Okay, so uh, um, there have been my friend from the Kamp Metal Roimdienst just found two standard Panzer. Das, das ist doch anti. Das ist doch gegen Panzer. Genau. Yes, uh, yeah. um, anti tank rifle grenades, the mushroom shaped, and these are um, SS Gewehrgranate. Reguliere SS, uh, reg yeah. reguliere. So these are the, I didn't know there, there was a difference between them, but uh, these are um, SS rifle grenades. And um, yeah, that's what we're here for. Next to the hole was another signal. And um, it was a, you know, it was not the best of signals, but whenever you dig a Totenkopf symbol, you know, emblem you have to dig everything around it so uh, Chris is here to uh, back me up um, I think it's it is yeah it definitely is, it is, definitely is another one two Jesus, man. oh my god man okay clean it up yeah yeah it is it is well, it's most definitely is. Um. <laughs> oh, baby, 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 baby. This is an even more beautiful one. But wow, Jeez, Jesus, man. man. <laughs> wow. Someone's mother-in-law managed to break loose. Careful, guys. We got run on a run. 
Well, I just found something I'm not paid for today, but hey, my job is to find ammunition, bombs and grenades and such. Um, and I know this might sound silly to you uh, Americans, but uh, we have very strict gun laws here. We cannot uh, take these with us. Um, so uh, the bomb squad is gonna take these too. And uh, yeah, I'm doing my best here. I'm trying to get them and persuade them to give me a steady job at their company. And I just found this. Um, let me just try to focus there. It's a 5 Pfennig um, from the DDR time period. So when Germany was divided into Western and Eastern Germany, this was the, the coins they used and they're well they're made out of uh, aluminum so they're usually not in the best of shape when you find them. Like a pretty crappy material they used. So they uh, tend to uh, rot, and, rot away in the ground pretty fast. Car is there, I'm trying to, you know, to go there because we're trying to put an end to this. But uh, this was just at the surface. Part of a gas mask. I'll bring it, you know, just to clean up the woods. But it's not in too best of shape. I need to thank three people. John Mello, Tony Johnson and Tim Franke. Thank you guys so much for your very kind and generous donations. Also I need to thank uh, the people at Guide Gloves because they uh, sent me a, a bunch load of their very good gloves. Um, I've been using Guide Gloves in the past and they reached out to me and said, Mike, uh, do you want some more? I said, yeah, I do. So uh, they sent me a truckload of these, uh, these gloves and well, several different uh, gloves as well. And, uh, I really like these, they're very good. So, uh, people will guide, thank you so much for your help. I just wanted to show you the two Totenkopf insignias. Just to show you, I really did find two because I just showed you one at a time. And I think it, the first one I found was this one. And I just ran to my car just to be sure that it's, uh, you know, that it's safe, didn't wanna have it in my pocket because I was afraid it was gonna be damaged. Um, so yeah, when I came back I found the other one. And there you go, the two of them. Yeah, it was such a good day at, uh, with the, uh, or good afternoon with the bomb squad, the Kampfmittel Räumdienst. And uh, I feel very fortunate to have, uh, to have been uh, detecting with them. So uh, I hope uh, it, it's something we can do more in the future. We'll see. Anyway, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.